And welcome back. Today I'm here at the auction house and we are going to take a look at how to reset a reset the price on a particular item. Okay, so first let's just take a look at, at an item that generally is underpriced. Now if you notice here it says this item is region market value 2,165 gold. Now, <clears throat> on the auction house right now, it is selling for 19,1968 gold. So, I'm not going to mess with this particular market because it is selling pretty well right where it should be. These are just outrageously uh, funny. But let's just go ahead and take a look at something like a large prismatic shards. Now these shards sell for 20 gold at a time. 20 gold each. Someone here has posted them for 7 gold. And some of them, if you get to, if you get lucky, some of them are clumped. Here's 11 for 91 go, which comes to a little bit over nine, eight gold each. So it comes to an average. So if I wanted to reset the value or reset the price of this particular item. Now, first of all, you're going to want to scan all the way to the bottom and see if it's going to be worth it to you because somebody here is selling five for a thousand gold. So that means they're selling them for right at 200 gold each. Now, if you can buy yours up for five gold each, let's go ahead and check that out. If you can buy them for five to seven gold each, and you buy up all except for ones that are selling for 200 gold each. <clears throat> And that's what we will go ahead and do here. Now these items do sell fairly well and it really depends upon if an enchanter is doing old school uh, enchants or if they are doing the Tome of Illusions which Definitely a lot of people are wanting, but you know, especially role players, it's really good for them. So we'll go ahead and gather all these up. And also one one thing that you need to do when you're getting ready to try to reset the market, you're wanting yours to sell and yours to be the first that anyone sees. So you're going to create what I call the wall. Okay. And by doing that, the very first thing anyone's going to see when they search for large, large prismatics, they're not going to see these guys here with five, uh, 190 to 200 gold each. They're going to see mine. And here's how we're going to do that. Okay, now if you look, right now, if I tried to sell mine at 200 go, which I don't believe it would sell, it would net me for 270, what, for 200, 40,000 go. But that's unrealistic. And we're going to do stacks of let's say stacks of 10 there will be five of those and we're going to do this at 
let's say 40 gold each. I'm still making a very large profit and I'm not breaking breaking uh, people up when they, when they need this, okay? So now that I've got my tens, stacks of tens, I'm also going to come here and put, we're going to say 28 stacks of one. That will drop me down to 200. <clears throat> now, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a, a wall. If someone searches, we're going to see mine first. They're going to see all my items that are one at a time. We're going to see my tens. They are going to see mine first. Now I'm going to go ahead and post a couple stacks of 20. We'll say five stacks. And then we will do two stacks of, let's see here, let's go ahead and make it stacks of 25 times 4. Now, once everything does sell, and it, it will, it may take a few times relisting, but it will sell. And, you know, but the main idea when you're trying to use the auction house is don't expect everything to sell all at once. It will never happen. Okay? Not going to happen, period. But as long as you're selling some each day, then you should be good. So, that is definitely what, uh, what I would suggest doing. And you more or less effectively just reset the market from the seven gold that people was trying to sell it for to the minimum being 40 gold, 40 gold each. So it's just a, a hit and miss. Also, I will be doing a video about Obliterum and how to make money with it now. So just stay tuned. And if if this video's helped you out in any way or you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've not already, subscribe. If you have a comment, drop it down in the comments. And please tell all your friends about the channel. I am still trying to get uh, the channel good and established, so please do tell your friends. And have a good day. We will see you next time.